and I am with my very good friend Michael Sleer today, the photographer and a guy who's made some videos for me <laughs> uh, for the band on these airwaves. And uh, Mike and I are going to talk a little bit about uh, his history uh, in photography and also we'll talk a little bit about uh, the, the photographs that he's taken that we've used for On These Airwaves albums uh, and artwork. And then uh, we'll also talk about uh, uh, some of the videos that, uh, that Mike has made. So, Mike, you're a great friend. So nice to see you. My and, pleasure, uh, my pleasure. And, and, and I know that uh, we first met each other many years ago when you asked me to go out on your boat and go water skiing. I ought to point out that Mike is one hell of a water skier as well, photographer. Uh, and then one thing evolved into the other. We became great friends, but uh, uh, you've been so kind to uh, to take uh, photographs of the band and also other interesting photographs that we've used uh, in on these airwaves uh, on these airwaves records and so forth. But I want to go back and, and talk about how, how did you get involved in photography from the very beginning? Oh, initially, well, initially um, I was a art major in college and enjoyed uh, you know doodling and trying to put something to paper but uh, I was down in Florida University was of Florida in, University of Florida well yeah. prior to that the junior college level and and, and yeah. art art major uh, engineering drawings and, and the like it was just always something I, okay. I enjoyed doing but when I got to the university level I found that um, I couldn't make it go here from here to here <laughs> as well as some other folks that were yeah simply multi-talented and uh, you know yeah. born with it uh, yeah. uh, so to speak so it was um it was difficult to mm -hmm. um admit it but i just didn't <laughs> quite stack up <laughs> so i saw a friend that had some photos on a wall and uh -huh. i was enamored with that and that changed that changed the course of my my uh, development as an art artist and yeah. um, went um, went straight to the camera and Never looked back. Burned a lot of film learning. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Burned a lot of film. Yeah, but that's how it kind of started. Yeah. And I, and I know that, uh, I mean, your whole career has been in photography, and we're, in, we're obviously filming this in Myrtle Beach, and that's where you've had your uh, career uh, as a photographer, photographing mm -hmm. everything from golf courses to... Uh, Computer chips, computer whatever, chips, huh? whatever, Everything. whatever was put in front of me. It's it's been a great career, forty years of of, of photographing um, and, and composing and yeah. putting putting a frame around stuff. Well, uh, I would guess one of the biggest changes has to be you know the move towards digital photography. Hmm. Would that be one of the big changes that's happened over the years? Well, it it uh, it that's just a tool. I mean, the 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 basic composition and and um, uh, framing things up uh, hasn't hasn't really changed. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of how how you end up uh, your end result, um, um, film or digital. Um, mm -hmm. Well, uh, you've you've got a book out uh, mm. that which I want to <laughs> plug well, for you. Uh, well, thank you. Thank what, you. <laughs> what I know, and uh, and in this book, uh, you've got. Uh, just a probably less than one tenth of one percent of all the photographs that you've ever done. Oh, but indeed. there's there's so many there some interesting uh, photos uh, in this book by uh, by Michael Sleer, <laughs> and I'd recommend if you want to see some neat neat photos that uh, that you consider uh, looking through here. But uh, yeah, a little commentary on each one, just to give a a, right. a little taste of the uh, you know yeah. forty years. That's for sure. Right, and then you know, how you came up with it and so forth and so on, different photos. Um, so, uh, you know, on the first On These Airwaves record uh, called Sunset Provisions, you know, uh, when you look at the internal sleeve and the pullout, uh, we used photographs from uh, uh, the intercoastal waterway primarily mm -hmm. where you and I uh, often go boating and we, 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 we use that. On the second uh, record, uh, Majors and Minors, um, you know, we took a little different approach. The cover of Majors and Minors, um, that blue cover, uh, you know, people often ask, you know, what's that a photo of? Mm. 
Do you remember what it's a photo uh, of? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's a technique uh, uh, called circles of confusion. Um, it's, a, it's just a photo of a point light source that creates the uh, um, image uh, of the lens iris on the film plane or the digital, digital uh, sensor. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it was just uh, sparkles on the ocean. Um, uh, I'm sure everyone's seen it at one time or another, reflections of the sun on a calm, slightly calm uh, ocean day where you can see the, the sparkles and the reflections of, of, the, of the sun. And it, sometimes it's extremely bright. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, it was a 500 millimeter lens with a uh, reflex lens, what they call a, uh, with a mirrored reflex lens. And it's a circular um, aperture. Well, I just remember seeing, I said, hmm. that is a great photo. I don't know what it's a photo of, but I, it is really neat. And I would have never known that it was the sparkles of the sun hmm. off the ocean. When you told me that, I said, I like it even more. Hmm. And, uh, and then, you know, we took that. And then our friend George Durant hmm. uh, interposed, uh, you know, uh, an, an older man and a younger boy, you know, uh, majors and, and minors. Hmm. And... Uh, the younger boy, I believe, is uh, someone who you you took a photo of him, and we we use that photo in there as well. Yeah, yes. The 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 circles circles of confusion just seem to fit that uh, that, that, that perfect record. circle image, yeah. um, right. which is one of the uh, one of the songs, songs on, on the, there yeah. on the album, and and yeah. we took it and ran with it. It was uh, as many things on the on the album, um, you know. A dichotomy or a comparison or you're really what you're saying is you know it, it reflects mm. pardon the pun mm, yeah, yes. you know, <laughs> what the album is about or what mm. a particular song is about mm. now i will say my favorite experience mm. uh with you and photography mm. are the uh photographs that you took for the third on these airwaves record the novox record mm. And um, and because um, I got to, you, you let me be your assistant. Oh, that was uh, a team. That. that was most definitely a te team we, effort. <laughs> we had so much fun. What we did is uh, I said, Mike, we've got to, you know, want to come up with some interesting photos uh, to use not only uh, for this third record but also for the website. And I said, let's let's think outside of the box and, and do as many strange and crazy things that we can do with the camera. Uh, to to get and, and see what we get, you know, uh, photography wise. And so one uh, evening, you and I went over to an area called Broadway at the Beach in Myrtle Beach. Uh, you took your camera, and and you started snapping uh, a, a lot of photos uh, in certain uh, establishments and then outside as well. I'm guessing, uh, you know, I don't know how to say it. I guess you you left on some of them the long exposure. Is that right to say and mm -hmm. then you know I would stand there and you'd let me hold the photo and you'd twirl me around <laughs> or I would twirl you around and it would make these these streaks and everything else it's just, it's, it's motion blur is what it's basically mm -hmm. called okay. and long exposures and motion blur and you can twirl the camera move the camera and I remember it's, you taking the camera and turning it upside mm -hmm. down and moving it from side to side. It was kind of like, I, I have to say, I never told you this, but when I was watching, I said, I am watching an artist at work. You know, you, it was almost like you had a paintbrush in your hand and you were painting all these, but you were just twirling the camera around. Mm. And uh, the, the cover of the Novox record is the uh, big guitar mm -hmm. at the Hard Rock uh, Cafe. And uh, I remember, uh, and, and this guitar, I don't know how big it is, 30 feet or something like that, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, larger. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, you standing up under there and you shooting up on, on that as well. And uh, I, I remember, you know, on the, the current picture on the website uh, is uh, a reflection off of, uh, off of some, I guess, steel or aluminum uh, with the lights reflecting that way. I'm oh yeah, it's a chrome. Right. It's a chrome uh, handlebar of some sort. Yeah, right. and yeah. You pointed it out, and we we we, we actually yeah, your artistic uh, impressions of of a lot of things uh, are are certainly part of all of that. Yeah. I, I may have said, Mike, what about that? But then you did all the work. <laughs> you did all uh, you did all the art. Just the time. I was just like, how about that? How about that? And then <laughs> you made it all happen. Yeah. So, um, so I, I will just say it's it is just so much fun uh, knowing you. Uh, but also seeing how 
artistic you are and and mm. uh, and and everything that you've been able to uh, uh, to do uh, in addition to taking just band photos and so forth and so on so I thank you very much and I appreciate uh, all you've done well you're more than welcome it's been my pleasure to know you do the photography play a little guitar with you yeah and ski a little yeah in the past in the past <laughs> <laughs> it's all good all thanks good. Mike thank you